Let's find out what you need to know about writing reports to access the information that's stored in your SQL Server database. This lesson focuses on using crystal reports for reporting, and to get the most out of this lesson, you should have a working knowledge of using this report writing tool. Topics include the general setup and workflow in Sage 300 Construction and Real Estate, the integration formulas to add to your crystal report so they work correctly in your Sage software, and connecting to your SQL Server database for reporting. You must use the SQL Replicator tool to copy your data from the Pervasive Data Management System into a Microsoft SQL Server database. The Service Management History data is not replicated at this time, so this information is not available for reporting from the SQL Server database yet. You can learn more about the SQL Replicator from the Sage Knowledge Base. Use Article 84765. The SQL Replicator creates one database in SQL Server for each pervasive company folder that you replicate. Each database contains a series of views that you would use for reporting. As you know, the DSN for connecting to your pervasive data can use one of three table and field naming options, standard descriptions, custom descriptions, and dictionary names. Each view in your SQL Server database corresponds to the name of the pervasive table under each one of those options. The example here demonstrates the standard, custom, and dictionary name of the vendor table in the pervasive data and the corresponding view in the SQL Server data. For anyone writing reports or using reports that access the information from your SQL Server database, their 300 CRE user setup must have a Windows username, and the user must have a role that has task permissions to SQL data access. The crystal reports that you're currently using with your pervasive data will also work with SQL data, so there's no need to recreate them. And for new reports, you can continue to write them using a DSN for your pervasive data if you want. When you generate these reports in the 300 CRE software, you can check the Use SQL box to automatically switch the source of the data on the report from Pervasive to SQL Server. For more information on how this works, refer to Knowledge Base Article 86874. For reports that automatically print after a 300 CRE task, you're not able to access the Use SQL checkbox, but you can add an integration formula to the report design so that it will always run using SQL data. We'll go over integration formulas in the next topic. All the 300 CRE user-defined functions are supported for SQL data except TS range. TS range puts in place the ranges button in the print selection window. This is not available when you generate a report as a desktop tab and may not work when you generate the report from the reports menu. The use SQL feature does not work on reports created with pervasive data that have SQL commands that you added through the add command in the database expert or that have SQL expressions. If you want those reports to use the SQL data, it's very likely that you'll have to change these reports or rewrite them. The subcontractor compliance reports that come with your software are written with SQL commands, so you should continue to run them with your pervasive data. For a complete list of the integration formulas, refer to the user's guide, which you can get to from the product documents webpage. Expand the software version and locate the user's guide. There's a chapter that's devoted entirely to writing reports using Crystal, including integration formulas and user-defined functions. The integration formulas and user-defined functions listed in the user's guide work with both pervasive and SQL Server databases. When you create a formula, the name must match what's shown in the user's guide, and follow the syntax that's outlined in the document and don't use any comment lines in the formula text area of the formula editor window. For integration formulas, they only need to be created for each report. They don't have to be added on the report itself. And you'll only see the results of the integration formulas when you run the report in 300 CRE. 
We'll use this report for our demonstration. This report uses a DSN that's connected to a pervasive database. We're not going to go over all the integration formulas, just those that you should know about for SQL reporting. Let's start with TS Design Mode. TS Design Mode is the most important integration formula and should be on every report design that's written against your pervasive data. If you have multiple company data folders, TS Design Mode ensures that the report returns the right information when you switch company folders in 300 CRE. The formula depends on the table and field naming option of the DSN used to write the report. If it's set to standard, use SDESC. If it's set to custom, use custom. And if it's set to dictionary names, use dictionary. The formula text needs to be in quotes. When you run the report in 300 CRE with the Use SQL box checked, this formula is used to determine which views the report should use from the SQL Server database, standard, custom, or dictionary. Next, let's look at TS Data Folder. The reason why TS Data Folder is important is because it's used in several user-defined functions. It specifies the data folder when you run the report in Crystal. If the report is written with a pervasive data source, the formula is the path for your data folder in the 300 CRE Open Company window. The text needs to be in quotes. If the report is written with a SQL Server data source, the formula needs to follow the format on the slide. When you run the report in 300 CRE, this formula dynamically changes to use the path for the current data folder. Next, let's look at TS SQL Server. You can leave this formula blank. The purpose of this formula is to return the name of the SQL Server instance when you run the report in 300 CRE with the Use SQL box checked. Of course, if you want to see the SQL Server instance name on the report, you'll need to put this formula somewhere on your report. Next, let's look at TS SQL Database. You can also leave this formula blank. The purpose of this formula is to return the SQL Server database name when you run the report in 300 CRE with the Use SQL box checked. And if you want to see the SQL Server database name when you run the report, remember to place this formula on your report. Last, let's look at TS Report Type. You use this formula to force the report to use SQL as the data source whenever you run it in 300 CRE. This is useful for process-based reports that run after a 300 CRE task because the Use SQL checkbox is not available for you to change the data source. The formula is SQL in quotes. If your report has subreports, you only need to create this formula on the main report, not the subreports as well. Any report that you write using a SQL Server data source must have this formula. Let's run a couple of reports with the integration formulas that we just discussed. This first report was written using a DSN connection to the pervasive data. When you generate it without checking the Use SQL box, it uses the pervasive data. Notice the path in TS Data Folder is for the current pervasive data folder, construction sample data. TS SQL Server and TS SQL Database are blank because it's not connected to the SQL data. Let's generate this report with the Use SQL box checked this time. Notice the value for TS Data Folder automatically changed. TS SQL Server and TS SQL Database now show the SQL Server instance name and database name. Let's switch company folders. Let's run the same report for Gold Coast this time and check the Use SQL box. It correctly retrieves the information from the Gold Coast database in SQL Server. And the values in TS Data Folder, TS SQL Server, and TS Database are automatically changed. Next, let's use a report that has the TS Report Type formula. 
Remember, TS report type forces the report to always use a SQL Server data source, so the Use SQL checkbox is automatically selected and grayed out. Let's find out how to connect your Crystal reports to a SQL Server database. When you work with your SQL data in Crystal, you should note that there are more objects in your SQL Server database than what Crystal Reports allows. But there's a registry setting that can change this, and the instructions are in the user's guide, so make sure you look it up. Also, reports with a SQL Server data source must be run with the Use SQL Box checked in 300 CRE or have the TS Report Type formula on the report. You can connect your Crystal report to a SQL Server database using one of two methods. First, you can use the ODBC administrator to create a DSN. Then in Crystal, use that DSN in ODBC RDO. When you use this method, anyone using that report must also have that DSN set up on their machine. Or you can connect to the SQL Server database through OLEDB ADO in Crystal. For either method, you should use the ODBC driver called SQL Server Native Client 11.0. To set up a DSN for your SQL Server database, use the 64-bit ODBC Data Source Administrator. The DSN for your pervasive data continues to be 32-bit ODBC. On the User DSN tab, click Add to set up a new DSN. For the driver, use SQL Server Native Client 11.0. Enter a name and a description for the DSN, and indicate the SQL Server instance that stores your replicated data. Remember, when you write a report using this DSN, anyone using that report must also have a DSN with this name set up on their machine. For authentication, make sure you use integrated Windows authentication. Set the default database for the connection. The application intent here is set to Read Write, but you can change it to Read Only if you want. Finish the setup and test the connection. Your new DSN is now set up. When you write a new report in Crystal, select to create a new connection. If you want to use the DSN that you set up, use ODBC RDO. If you do not have a DSN, you can use OLEDB ADO to connect to your SQL Server database. For the provider, use SQL Server Native Client 11.0. Enter the SQL Server and instance name of your replicated data. Check the Integrated Security box and specify the database you're connecting to. You're now connected to the SQL Server database. Expand the database and expand the schema that you want to use, custom, dictionary, or standard. Let's use the standard views. Now you can select the views you want to use for this report. Remember, when you write any report using a SQL Server data source, it must have the TS report type integration formula in order that it works correctly in 300 CRE. If this formula is not on the report, you have to check the Use SQL box before you generate the report in 300 CRE.